Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. And we're back at it. It's Monday, everybody. It's like we never left. It's like we never left. It flew by. Hopefully you had a nice Mother's Day, all the moms out there. And hopefully you had a nice Mother's Day. I, I had the best day. Yeah? The best day. And, you know, even though, like, I miss our restaurants, I right. really miss going out to eat. It's so chaotic with three kids that I think that taking that it's element kind of out more of it is not more to do that. <laughs> Right, you so, don't have to face a big challenge. Yeah, so so as we talk about our weekend, uh, I'll just talk about what happened yesterday. And I woke up to breakfast in bed, which I've never had before. Was that's this, not that's not breakfast. This was in not bed. breakfast in bed. This looks delicious, by the way. Whatever this is. This is eggplant rollatini. This is what Frankie made for dinner last night. He oh, spent. So Frankie a, made dinner for you last he night. He made a fantastic dinner. But yeah, so I started. When this is all over. I'm coming over for Frankie's <laughs> eggplant. Okay, okay, I'm coming over it's for that. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, but we did start with breakfast in bed. He woke me up. He let me sleep in. First yeah. gift. Breakfast <laughs> in bed. Hot cup of coffee, um, and a homemade card from Lila. And then I think the most thoughtful gift I've ever received. I wanted a cherry blossom tree for so long. Right. And he got me a cherry blossom tree, and we planted it yesterday. That's fantastic, because you've been talking about this. I have been. So it's in the backyard, and I think we actually have some video of how quickly, as a family, you guys were able to get this, this tree planted. There was a lot of supervising from me and my kids. Yeah. Do we have it? Okay. Here so we go. Yeah, look. <laughs> Frankie, go. I thought this might look cool. Yeah, 30 seconds. Clearly, Frankie's been taking his vitamins, because this is fast work. He, he got at it, but I watched it a couple times over, and you can see how much watching me and the girls are doing. Just, hey, what, well, you what's know, that? What's it? Any big job site has some supervisors, and so, you know, you were the supervisors. But, you know, I think that plants, trees can, you know, bring, the, and here we are in the yard after oh, the tree was planted. That's a great picture. But I Wasn't it nice that the sunshine was out yesterday, too? It was beautiful. Yeah. The one thing that I love, though, about plants that Regrow year after year that come back, right? And trees too. Is that you have that special moment that you can revisit year after mm -hmm. year? So every time that tree blooms, I'm going to think about how special Mother's Day was. That's fantastic. My first Mother's Day is a mom to three. That's oh, that's right. It yeah. is your first Mom's Day with, a with mom to three. three. Yeah, wow. and no more. <laughs> okay. Just three. <laughs> Maybe more fur babies one day, but. Just three, no, okay. three human being babies. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you had a great weekend. Thanks. And uh, how was yours? It was. Um, it was. It flew by yeah. as it often does. So Saturday, Gary and I decided we were going to try to tape another one of those cooking segments oh, in gosh. the kitchen. <laughs> and so this time we made crab cakes. And I will tell you, the crab cakes turned out well, but the Good. video portion of the presentation did not. So we're going to try this again because we <laughs> like this recipe and we want to share it on the show. But yeah, there were there were a number. Of things that went wrong. Like, you know how when you, you know from doing these segments cooking live now in the Ooh, kitchen, a lot of you've got to plan things out. So, like, you know, we had Old Bay and we hadn't used the Old Bay for a long time. So I try to shake it out, you know, as we're taping and it's like, it's all <laughs> stuck and hardened. And then there was a mustard incident. It was, we should probably air what we taped because it would be the funnier. Bloopers. The bloopers. I don't know how educational it would be, but anyhow. I think people something. would love to see it. I know I would. Okay. I we'll, want to see the outtakes. We'll, we'll consider this. We'll, th we'll talk about it. We'll <laughs> figure it out. All right. The other thing, you know, last week, and I don't know how this came up, but we talk about everything. At one point, I swear you said something about, wouldn't it be wild if dogs could talk? We were talking yeah. about Kevin, right? I think so. Yes, we were talking well, about this. Well, I have a good friend who sent me something yesterday, and I just want to play it for you. This is her dog, Cooper. This is Christine Hestwood sent me this, hmm. and this is her dog, Cooper. Listen. So it's In a Mother's world? Day message, <laughs> and it's thank you, Mom, for all your love. Thank you, Mom, for all your hugs. You were just saying there, Cooper was. Thank you, thank you, Mom, for all the kisses. 
Uh, so I don't know how she did this. I don't know how so she created funny. this. Maybe there's an app, or she has an amazing talking dog. One of two, an <laughs> app or an amazing dog. Yeah. Incredible. I don't know. I mean, if it's an actual talking dog, we should have led the program with that because I think that is like wow. Fantastic. Anyway, stuff. thank you for sharing, Chris. We <laughs> loved it, and thank you for letting me share it with everyone else. Great job, Cooper. <laughs> well, one big development that happened Friday leading into the weekend, we saw two dozen counties across the state of Pennsylvania mm -hmm. reopen, move into that yellow phase. So social distancing still in place. And then on Friday, this upcoming Friday, mm -hmm. we, Allegheny County and other counties in southwestern PA, with the exception of Beaver County, will move into that reopening phase. Yeah, I mean, it's a, good, it's a step forward that I think a lot of people are anxious for right. and and it's it's nice to hear a date it's nice to know when we're gonna move forward uh, even though it's not reopening of everything I mean right. the yellow phase still a number of things remain closed there are a number of precautions being taken but it's a step forward and that's a nice thing to be able to report it is just so strange when you think back like I think of going to the mall at Christmas time to go shopping yeah. and, you know letting none of the us kids thought anything of it you didn't think anything of it and now what I wouldn't give to have one Beer day at, at the, the bar. <laughs> exactly. Or whatever. Yeah. Go have a meal at the restaurant. Right. And it will happen. It yeah. will happen at some point. We will all get back to that point. Well, it well, has been a while since we've left the house. Mm -hmm. That is and for things sure. start to happen. Yeah. So <laughs> as we start to re enter life as we knew it before, there was this really funny video that I saw on Facebook. And this is from the Holderness family. And they mm -hmm. have a lot of people who follow them. So you may have seen this video. But we want to take a listen to this because I thought it was really funny. Let's move on to conversations with people. Okay, what do you say if somebody says, hi, how are you? Oh, uh, toilet paper. Let's try this one. What do you have planned for the weekend? Uh, um, sit, wine, wine, and sit. What do you think about the big election? Wait, there's an election? Huh. You're also going to need to adjust to not taking a nap every day. That's, that, we're keeping that. I'm keeping that one. You need to go to bed on time. Uh-uh. And stop watching Netflix. H how? Push through. Fine. Uh, okay, moving on to going to work. I've been going to work. No, no, no. Like putting on clothes and makeup and going to an office. What? Once you get to the office, let's practice a workplace meeting. I've been doing this all month. I got it. Okay. Hi, Kim. How are you? I'm good. Our projections are in for Q3. In order to hit that target, we're going to have to buckle down. We're going to have to circle back. We're going to have to... Kim, are you on your phone? Oh, don't worry about it. It's out of the shot. You can't see it. You are not on a Zoom call anymore. You're in, you're in person. We can see you. <laughs> don't worry. It's out of the shot. It's out of the shot. This is what happens when you've been <laughs> right. cooped up for two months. Okay, what you did not see here. Right, off the very beginning of this, she addresses pants. She says you're going to need to wear pants with a button and zippers. Now listen, right. I've said and I will continue to say it's easier to parent in sweatpants. I know that's your motto. It is my motto because it is. There's a lot of bending and picking up and right. bending over to get the spilled cups and what... Anyways, in our conversations and after showing David this video, David admits, brace yourselves. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're even going here. <laughs> he does not own a pair of sweatpants. I don't own look, any sweatpants. Oh my gosh, look what it says. It's a banner. He has no sweatpants. <laughs> David. All right, now, here's the deal. So in my defense, uh -huh. I mean, it's not like I wear a suit around the house all the time. Uh -huh. I put shorts on whenever I get home. I have, but they're cargo shorts. They're, they're out-of-date cargo shorts. They're yeah. not even gym shorts. Well, no, I do own gym shorts, but, they're, but sweatpants, they make me sweat. They're too hot in the house. So I wear shorts around the house. I mean, as soon as I get home, was that a Corona sigh? It was a Corona sigh. <laughs> that was my Corona sigh for you. All right, so, and I did own a pair. I told Heather I owned a pair of sweatpants, but they were too short, so I threw them out. Um, so, and then Heather said, that, you know, they come in a variety of sizes, David. <laughs> so I'm not even kidding you. After this all went down, I went into my phone and said to Siri, Siri, remind me, and the week before your birthday, to get David a pair of sweatpants. So you will be getting a pair of sweatpants for your birthday okay. this year. All right, I'm ready. And Jill says they're very stylish now. I'm they not are. I'm not up on the current sweatpants. Athleisure wear is big. It's yes, a hot thing it right is. now. Yeah. All right. 
Well, we want to let you know that coming up, apparently I'm getting sweatpants. <laughs> we want to let you know that Dr. Lori, who we absolutely adore, you probably do too. She's always with us when we're at the Home and Garden Show appraising people's items. Mm -hmm. Well, she's going to join us on the show coming up this Thursday. And so we want you to send in pictures of items that you would like her to look at. We're going to try to get to as many as we possibly can, see what their value is, see what their worth is, and hopefully have some interesting stories. We love checking in with her not too long ago about you're cleaning the house. There's mm -hmm. a lot of spring cleaning going on. So what do you keep? What do you throw away? How do you clean those items? So we'd love to see what you have stored away in your home. So you can send us that email at ptl at kdka.com. Yeah, I mean, so many people tell the story of like, my mom threw away my comic books <gasps> that now would have been worth yeah, thousands of dollars. Do you have any idea? Yeah. Were they in good condition? Oh, no. I mean, people just tell that story. I still have my comments. Oh, you do? Yeah, mom didn't throw mine out. But <gasps> I mean, I just hear, hear people say that. Or record albums, because vinyl's big now. It is. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's coming up on Thursday, but let's talk about today. We're going to go to a break because we have a lot to get to today. And we're going to begin by getting some answers as we continue to learn more about COVID-19. There are more and more questions popping up, new symptoms, associated illnesses, and concerns about reopening and even what happens in the fall. We're going to get answers from an expert coming up. And summer camp, it can be a wonderful experience for kids, but this summer, some camps are closed. Others are finding creative solutions to keep going and Mikey Hood will show us what they're up to. And come on down. I will talk to Price is Right host Drew Carey about tonight's primetime version of the show and tonight's special guest contestant. And of course, we will talk to him about Cleveland versus Pittsburgh as well. We had to do that. <laughs> All that plus Cam Hayward and how you can be a contestant on Let's Make a Deal. Thanks for being with us on this Monday, May 11th. You're watching Pittsburgh Today Live and we'll be right back.